let him out of my life and accept the fact that we'll never be together. Hey guys. Teresa, what's wrong? You crying? What is it? Hey man, it, it's my fault. You know, I was uh, just stoking a fire and uh, some ash just popped out and I think it hit her in the eye or something. Ah, oh, that must have been painful. Are you alright, Teresa? Yes, uh, I'm fine, Ethan. Are you sure? Hey, hey, here you go. Why don't you just uh, splash some, some, some water in your eye? It'll be fine. Okay, thanks, Chad. It should be fine, man. Good. Teresa, I just talked to Gwen on the phone and I was telling her how well planning the wedding was going. I told her that uh, Chad and I had picked out the music and that you and I were really working well together. That's good. You know, she's very grateful to you for helping us out like this uh, since she had to go away on business. She said she knew we could count on you. I'm glad I could help, Ethan. You don't know how much we appreciate it, too. Now, uh... There's something else I was hoping you could help us out with. What is it? Uh, I've been racking my brain trying to think of the perfect place for our honeymoon. I was hoping that maybe you could give me some of your ideas. Your honeymoon? Yeah. You know, I, I want it to be someplace very secluded, very romantic. You know, someplace where Gwen and I can be completely alone together. I love you, Mrs. Ethan Crane. I love you, Ethan. I know exactly what you want, Ethan. For you and, and Gwen. I'll, I'll find that the perfect place. Thank you so much, Teresa. You know, I knew I could count on you. Is your eye okay? Yeah, yeah, it, it's fine. It's no. Fine. You know, it's still kind of red. You know, maybe a cold cloth will help out. Here, come to the kitchen, I'll get you one. Wait. I just remembered, you said you wanted to talk to me about something? It's nothing. You sure? I just realized that it doesn't matter now. How did you get here? Yeah, we thought the roads were still closed. Oh, they are. But, um, Simone and I, we wanted to go back to town and see if we could find a ride back to Harmony. Simone's here, too? Yeah, she's inside talking to Whitney. You know, that could have been very dangerous walking all this way in the snow at this hour. Oh, I know that's why when we saw the lights on at this cabin, we came in. We had no idea you guys were here. Well, is everything okay at the ski lodge? Is, is everyone all right? Teresa... Miguel was caught in that avalanche. He almost died. Oh, my God. Where is he? I have to see no, him. No, he's okay. But, um, maybe you should go visit him at the lodge. I mean, it'd be great for him to have his sister there. He's been through a whole lot. Yeah, just like Teresa and Whitney when they were caught in the avalanche, too. Yeah, Whitney told me that's how she cut her leg. I'm really glad you're okay, Teresa. Thanks, but I have to go to the ski lodge and see Miguel. I'm gonna go tell Whitney, okay? Look, Simone, I swear, Kay has got it all wrong. There's nothing going on between us. Wait, Miguel was caught in the avalanche, and I want to go to the ski lodge to make sure he's okay. But Miguel is perfect. Hey! I was just telling Teresa that Miguel's been through a lot. It would probably do him a lot of good to see her. Well, I hope he's all right. Teresa, I'll go with you. No, 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 I'll be fine. Well, I'll come along, too. I mean, I can take you right to Miguel. Look, I'm not letting you two walk all that way alone. I'm coming. Hey, you want some company? Uh, you know what, Chad? It'd be better if you stayed here and kept trying the phones. That way, you know, maybe someone up here can take Whitney back to Harmony to get some medical attention for her leg. Yeah, you're right. It's probably a better idea. I'll go get some flashlights. Um, I'm gonna get my jacket. Where have you been? The manager told us that you messed up your reservation and had to leave. 
Whitney and I have been staying in a cabin. I'll explain later. He said that you were caught in the avalanche. Thank goodness you and Terry are right. I'm fine, but just a little sore. The hot tub helps. Glad you're alright, Miguel. Hey, look, I'm getting kind of cold. I'm gonna go back, okay? I'll come with you. No, no, you stay. It'll help your sore muscles, and then you can talk to your sister. Okay. I'll come with you, Terry. All right, okay. Hey, is everything all right? You don't look so happy. I should be happier than I've ever been. And I was for a while. And I told Charity I love her. She says she loves me too. Uh, that's great, Miguel. You said you were happy for a while. What happened? Something weird. And now I, I don't know what the future's gonna be. Something weird happened? What do you mean? Charity had a premonition, all right? She says that, that we're not going to be together. She thinks I'm going to end up with someone else, spend my life with them. Premonition? Yeah, I mean, she's had them before, but, but this one doesn't make any sense. I mean, I love her, Teresa. I want to spend my life with her. And you can't let anything stop you. When you love someone the way that you love Charity, no one will come between you. I, I know, I feel the same way. And but she is so convinced that what she saw is real. Well, you have to convince her that she's wrong. When you truly love someone, nothing can change it. True love is forever. Isn't that right, Ethan? Well, I'm not so sure. What do you mean? I mean, you can think you love someone. You can plan your life based on that. Plan a wedding, everything. But if someone comes along who's right for you, the person you're destined to be with for the rest of your life, then that changes everything. It's fate. Do you really believe that? Yes, I do.